What's up, y'all? I can't lie. I'm a little pissed right now. I feel like for the last week or so, maybe two weeks that I've had my leopard gecko data, I feel like I've been trying to research more and do more of my own personal research to make sure that he's okay. And honestly, I don't feel like I've been given enough information from the people who are supposed to be informing me. So with that being said, that's why I've been doing my own research. But I found out that I have done too much with his tank and this is a little bit why he's still stressed and not really coming out or really just staying in his rock the whole day. Um, apparently he's not supposed to have all of this right now as a baby gecko, which kind of makes sense. I just didn't think that it would be like that stressful or traumatic. So what I'm doing today is actually downsizing his setup completely. Like, um, he, he really he really didn't even have to be in a tank this soon and i'm pissed because i went and spent all this money making sure he was comfortable when really the most comfort that he needed was at dollar tree all he needed was a tote um do i have one to show y'all eh, i think it's outside but all he needs is one of those cheap dollar totes some napkins in it a rock a tupperware tub with some dirt some humid dirt in it and a cool rock to hide under that's all he needed I could have simply got all that for $20, not to mention he was $30. So $50 on my leopard gecko, and I think I spent about $200. So um, what I'm going to do today is see about being able to take his, um, for one, seeing if he actually does need light this young, uh, these UVB and the uh, basket lamp, because the, the setups I've seen with the tubs didn't have those. And, um, get him the setup that he needs because apparently this is stressing him out. So, um, that's the goal for today. 10 to 20 seconds. All right, so don't mind her. I was doing my research because I've been doing research all morning because I'm trying to really learn about my reptile life, my gecko life, my son, whatever. It, her, it, she, they don't know what it is yet. But uh, I think I was doing it wrong. And it's okay because you, you learn it's a process just like with a real human baby or a dog or a cat or guinea pig whatever happened um i found out that i was too concerned and, and maybe thinking of him like he was a human I don't, I don't know what i was thinking but the tank is uh way too big for him um also there's just a lot going on in there for him where it's kind of stressful to get stressed out really really easily um that's something that i like found out from day one of research but they get uh, startled and stressed really easy and things that are bigger than them kind of start to seem like threats so um that probably explains why he's always in his hide um <clears throat> hold on i'm gonna bring y'all closer but yes that would always explain why he's always in his hide um i also when i first got him the lady at the store, which I know that, you know, like PetSmart and Petco and stuff, they're misinformed. They're pretty much just trying to make a sale. But she was telling me about things that I absolutely knew that it didn't need. Um, and shoot, basically just trying to tell me some crap that really was crap for a juvenile a leopard gecko. But pretty much, I didn't even need to buy all of this right now. Like, it's great that I already have it, but I really only needed a Dollar Tree uh, tote napkins a rock a contact two containers and a water and a calcium bowl and a heating pad that's it that's it like literally for a baby gecko that's all i need one so that i can monitor him eating and pooping and so that it's easier to feed him but um we finna get it right i don't think he likes his jeep but it was dope he got in it one time <laughs> Lucky orange bucket and my lovely plastic cup. 
and we're about to scoop some of this dirt out because I don't know if he likes it and that's why he don't walk around. I don't know if it's too much for his bones. He ain't really used to it. And others just been recommending paper towels. So um, I'm about to just put something a little more simpler in there because like I said, he is a juvenile leopard gecko. So um, just going off the things that I'm learning. I'm not in any way trying to sound like an expert because I'm not, if anything, I'm just trying to learn how to care for my leopard gecko properly, especially because I got him as a baby. And I don't even want to tell y'all how much I spent on this dirt and he didn't even need it. I found out that he couldn't even really use it for real, but he's been doing good with it, but doesn't mean that he can use it necessarily. So that was frustrating. <laughs> Um, I pretty much just overspent money um, listening to people who either only have had one reptile or have adult leopard geckos um, when really in in this stage that I have him is when it's the most simple um, I guess you can kind of say technically like a newborn because they don't really require much for you to feed them change their butt and let them sleep when they first come home. What's funny is y'all, he was just watching me take the dirt out. Look, 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 look. Think I'm playing, he watching me. He do not like the fact that I'm taking his dirt out. Look y'all, you see what I'm doing? Taking the dirt out. And he looking at me like, what is you doing? Sorry, baby, this is you can't have it. <laughs> I'm sorry, eat them worms though. that was one of his empty highs turned out i opened up the damn dubia roaches <laughs> let me go ahead and put this top on real quick all right y'all so i'm finna feed data for the third time now hey my man Hey, my little boy. Cause he just getting on my nerves. Y'all better wait. I'm having a hard time getting him off. Okay, here we go. To move that top. I'm trying to get better at this, y'all. And that's how I feed that. Y'all wanna see him? Uh, he see him in there and he gonna get busy. I'm just gonna let y'all watch. He gonna eat them. One and the, one of them in there is too big. I'm kind of worried about it, but I couldn't just. I'm not gonna grab just that one big cricket. So I kind of just let him do his thing for real. If he want him, he want him. If he don't, I'll take him out. He know the drill. He know the deal. It's one cricket in here that's alive, y'all. And I think it's so funny because he was supposed to have died like two days ago, but he holding on for dear life. The other two died. And you can't give crickets, I mean, leopard geckos. Look at them, there you go. You can't give leopard geckos um, dead crickets, so. Eat it, Dada. Get them, boy. Get one of them. Get them, boy. Get them. Get them, Dada. And I like to sit and watch them. Get them, Dada. Get them crickets, baby. Please don't go for that big one. I think he's bigger than you. But I do want you to get big. Please snap one of them. Snap one of them. 
You not hungry, Papa? Yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him, Dada. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him while he eating. Get him, come on. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at my gecko. Yes, sir. Look at my gecko eating. Yes, sir. That's a good bummy boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get him. Because he keep testing you. Get him. Yeah. Tell him, come jump on your foot one more time like that. Is you full? He'll let me know when he's full. He'll start trying to climb up the side of the wall and stuff. You full? You full? All right. Are you done or what? You be giving me mixed signals. I don't know what you want to do. You want to finish eating or what? You done had a meal, two mealworms and a cricket. like regular bowls in there but of course if you don't want to like sit and feed it him her um then you can just put a bowl in there with like mealworms or you know not as active bugs and the rim is lipped so that the bugs can't get out <laughs> 